Hi, and welcome back to Do-It-Yourself WordPress Websites. In this video, we're going to cover free photo editing tools. Pictures tell a thousand words, and all great websites have great photos. So use these free tools to help you size photos appropriately, grab screenshots from the web, and create exact color matches for your photos. Okay, so we've got the three uh, different tools up on the internet here on the web pages. So for ColorCop, all you have to do is come up here to ColorCop.net and in order to download it, the free version, you just come down to download here and then pick the appropriate language. And then if you feel like it, you can go ahead and donate to this cause as well. It's a great group of folks and they give this for free, so feel free to donate. Now for Jing, it's actually a TechSmith product and TechSmith has a bunch of great products, but this one is the screen capture tool. So all you have to do is come to TechSmith.com slash Jing um, if you want to watch the video of exactly how it works, we're going to show you as well. Um, just hit that little button. And in order to download it, you can download it here on the free download. So that's all you need for that one. Now for PicMonkey, which is the actual photo editing tool, um, you don't have to download anything. It's in the cloud. So all you have to do is go ahead and take a screen capture um, or any picture and you just upload it to the site and then you can go ahead and edit it. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Once you download Jing, you're going to have this little tool, this little sunburst tool, which provides you some um, capturing uh, crosshairs here where you can click and drag and grab a picture. So we're going to come over to our parent company, which is Social Punch Marketing, and we're going to grab this image here, this logo, and then a little of this text as an image here. So I come up here. Whoop, let me just go to the pause. There we go. We're going to go ahead and grab this crosshair, and I'm going to click and drag and just grab this image right here and I'm going to go ahead and say capture and I'm going to save that so I can upload it to um, PicMonkey. So I'm going to save it as social punch logo and I'll save it as a ping file as opposed to a JPEG and then I can, it'll just say uh, we've captured it go ahead and close that. So I'm going to come over here now to the photo editor of PicMonkey and I'm going to go ahead and just click on edit and it's going to ask me oh where's the picture here it is, Social Punch logo, and I'm going to open that up. And here's the image. So there's all kinds of things that you can do. And, and PicMonkey, again, is free, but it's a freemium. So there's things that you can do for free, and then there's things that you can do for the premium version as well. Uh, one of the things with the premium version is you don't have to watch ads um, that are on the bottom. Um, but any of these different options, you're going to see a little crown for those that are premium. But let's go ahead to uh, the cropping tool first. Okay, so if I want to crop this just a little bit, it'll allow me to adjust the size just by clicking and dragging these corners. So I'm just going to crop it a smidgen here and go ahead and hit apply. Right, so now it's just a little bit smaller. Um, this canvas color is kind of fun to play with. There's a lot of different options that you can choose. Um, but let's take a peek here. If I scroll down, let's look at like rotate or exposure. There's a lot of different things that you can choose from, different colors, um, and all of those, again, are going to be free. But these effects are, which is, are, are really fun. So if we wanted to just adjust the darkness, um, we would just hit Apply or Cancel. Um, this Intrepid is kind of fun as well. Um, here's the Rapture. Now, with this one, the little Pick Monkey logo is coming up, so that means it's a premium version, so you can't apply it unless you upgrade. Um, here's CPS, so if you wanted to make it look old-fashioned and kind of fun, um, you could do all those as well. But uh, no sense in doing any of these. Let's just go ahead and close that out. Now, if I want to add text, all I have to do is hit the text button, and it's going to show all kinds of different types of fonts that you can use. Um, again, if you scroll up and down here, you'll see the ones that have a little crown next to them um, down here. Those are the ones that are going to be uh, premium versions. But let's say I wanted to add a copyright text right here. So all I have to do is hit Add Text. It's going to give me a little text box. And I'm going to type in, let's say, um, copyright 2014, right? OK. now. That's not an official copyright symbol because the copyright symbol is a special character that has a circle. So I actually have that in Word already. So I'm going to zip over to my Word document. I'm going to close that little or copy that little um, C symbol and go back. And I'm just going to drop it in this way. 
so I actually got that C. So if there are some special characters that you want to use, that's a way that you can do that without having to type it in from uh, PicMonkey itself. And again, if I wanted to do the left side, I could easily do that as well. And I'm going to click off of it. And let's go ahead and move that over just a smidgen. Okay, great. Now, this is what we want to do with Color Cop, right? So we use Jing to capture the picture. Um, we're using PicMonkey now to edit this picture. But what Color Cop does is it identifies the exact picture, uh, the exact colors in this logo. So all I have to do is once you download it, you'll have this little icon. And let's say I want to grab this red to know exactly what that color is. All I do is drag and drop this little eyedropper, right? Looks like uh, the eyedropper from Photoshop. And it'll tell me exactly what the RGB colors are and the hex colors. And the hex code is basically the exact mathematical formula for the color to be represented on the web, right? So I'm going to zip over here now to a frame. And I'm going to use this museum matte frame, right? So there's this brown, but I'd like to use that same red that I already discovered, right? So I'm going to come to this color wheel, and I'm going to drop in those codes of the red, right? And that's that exact red from over here that I grabbed. And now I want to grab this yellow as well for the inner color of this frame. So again, all I have to do is grab Color Cop, use this eyedropper. I'm going to now copy that code. And I'm going to go ahead and close Color Cop again and use the inner color. Drop in, and as you see, it, it can fill in any of these colors that you want. But I want that exact yellow, so I'm going to drop in the code for that exact yellow. Pretty cool, right? So now all I have to do, I've got a nice new image. Um, it's got borders on it. It's got the colors that I want. Um, I put a little text in here as well. All I have to do now is save it as a JPEG. Social Punch logo. Now this is what's kind of cool as well, is, is PicMonkey gives you three different ways that you can save it. And this all has to do with size. So if I wanted to do a smaller size, 67 RGB, it's not going to be as much of a resolution, but it's going to be a smaller file, so it will upload very quickly, um, which is great for the web, not so great for print. Um, Pierce is the medium size. This is now 85K, and the biggest size is what they call a Sean, and that's 180K, which is not bad, but you could go ahead and use the medium size for good quality. Go ahead and save that to your computer. I'll save mine. It'll call it Social Punch Marketing Logo, um, and we'll call it Retouched. And I'll say .jpg, .jpg, and it'll go ahead and save it, and we're all set. So that's how you can use these free tools for um, PicMonkey, Download or uh, ColorCop, and TechSmith.